Hey there, I'm Keith Thomas, writer director of The Vigil, and I'm here to talk about five of my favorite horror films. There are a lot of incredible horror films that uh, would make a list like this for me, The Conjuring, The Exorcist. For these five films in particular, I wanted to highlight some films that I think a lot of people haven't seen. I believe horror should evoke a supernatural element, so a film like Psycho, which I love a lot, is technically a suspense thriller. Alien might be my favorite horror film of all time, but I consider it science fiction. On to the list. At number five is Jacob's Ladder. This is a criminally underseen and underappreciated film directed by Adrian Lin. It stars Tim Robbins as a shell-shocked Vietnam vet who's come home to New York City and discovers that he's seeing things, really scary, twisted things. The less I say about the plot, the better. This is the kind of movie you need to immerse yourself in. Number four on the list is The Wailing by Na Hong Jin. I love this filmmaker's first two movies, and when I heard that he'd be making a horror film, I thought I was ready. I wasn't. Impeccably shot, deeply emotional and disturbing, The Wailing is an epic possession film that feels both intimate and devastatingly strange. It's scary, it's funny, it's a roller coaster ride. Number three is Possession from 1981. Andrzej Zulowski's movie is unique, just like all his work. The film stars Isabella Ajani and Sam Neill. It's set in Berlin and it's about a really intense, really messed up relationship that goes insanely off the rails. The cinematography is stunning, the acting is ferocious, and there is a creature in this movie that has never been duplicated. Uh, you'll know it when you see it. At number two is Demons by Lumberto Bava. Dario Argento produced this thrill ride. The story revolves around the premiere of a new film that sends its evil out into the audience, turning people into demons. Like most Italian horror, it's incredibly bloody. We're talking Lucio Fulci levels here, but it's also scary and very clever. Number one is Quiet On. This 1965 film by Kobayashi Masaki is one of the most beautiful beautiful horror films ever made. It's an anthology telling four ghost stories. Some of them are terrifying, all of them are haunting. This is a movie that lingers with ravishing sequences that might just change the way you see cinema. It's really that powerful. I also want to list some honorable mentions from the Wild Bunch catalog. I love Dario Argento's work. Three titles stand out in his catalog. First is Suspiria, which is his masterpiece. Second would be Inferno, his most dreamlike movie. And third is Phenomena. It's his craziest film. They're must-see movies. If you haven't checked them out yet, they're visually rich, they're packed with all sorts of outrageous scares, and they have incredible soundtracks. If you haven't seen the Thai film, The Dorm, you should really check it out. It's eerie and touching. And if you haven't seen James Wan's Insidious by now, you need to rectify that immediately. It really marked a turning point in modern horror film. So that's the list. Thanks so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoy the vigil. And I'm back. Quelque chose en cette maison. Il faut qu'on s'en aille maintenant. Si vous partez, la magie vous fera revenir au rempart.